Okay, in this video we are going to talk about the Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. Friedel-Crafts acylation. And I just want to um, point out sort of exactly what we're doing in this reaction. We are replacing a hydrogen. This is a substitution reaction. We're placing the hydrogen on this carbon with this carbon chain here. Um, it's important to note if we label our carbons A, B, C, the carbon that's connected to the C double bond O, C, L, is this carbon here. So we have A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, so let's go through this mechanism. And the mechanism is very similar to the Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. But the one difference about this reaction here is that we're not going to have any rearrangements. So there are no rearrangements that are possible. And if we remember from the Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction, you can have rearrangements. But because we have an acyl group, we will see later there's an extra resonance structure that prevents rearrangements from occurring. So let's draw our lone pairs on our chlorine because that's going to be the first step. This chlorine is going to attack the Lewis acid aluminum. Aluminum has three bonds, so it does not have a full octet. It's a Lewis acid. And that gets us to this new intermediate here where I have a Cl bond now to Al, and that aluminum is still connected to three other Cl's. So the consequence of that is, let's draw in these lone pairs, is this chlorine has a positive charge, and now the aluminum has a negative charge. So by, by making a bond, this lone pair has become a bond here. Chlorine only has six valence electrons around it, therefore a plus. Aluminum now has four and only wants three, so that has a negative charge. So the next step in our mechanism here is we're going to break this carbon-chlorine bond. So now we have a positive charge on this carbon atom right there. All right. Also, the other species that we make is AlCl4, AlCl4 minus. And we can remember that that's in equilibrium with AlCl3 plus a Cl minus. And we're going to use this Cl minus later to do our deprotonation. But I want to focus on this species here. This is now our electrophile, our E+. Plus. And if you remember from the Friedel-Crafts alkylation, you could have a rearrangement there. But in the Friedel-Crafts acylation, this is an acylium ion, cation. There is a resonance structure here where I can move this lone pair down there, and that stabilizes that positive charge. So the resonance structure we can see is a carbon now with three bonds to this O, and that oxygen now has a positive charge associated with it. So because of this extra resonance structure that we see, we are not going to have any rearrangements that occur. All right, and if we remember in our EAS reactions, there's two parts. Part one is, generated, is generating our E+, plus, and we've really done that here. Here is our E+. Plus. And now we can move on to part two, where we um, use the aromatic ring. So I'm going to take this pi bond. This is going to attack that positive charge. We can now draw the intermediate. There's the hydrogen that we're going to lose in the next step. Here's my new bond right here to that carbon A, carbon B, carbon C. The consequence of moving this bond here is there's an H there. So there's only three species attached to that carbon. So that has a positive charge. And then we still have our double bonds. Now this reaction or this step in the mechanism is very high in energy because benzene is obviously aromatic and now we've lost our aromaticity. What helps stabilize that is the resonance structures we can draw. So I can move my pi bond from there to there. Pi bond goes there. That now has a plus. We still have an H here. We still have our C double bond O with our three carbons and our double bond is there. So that's an intermediate. 
it helps stabilize this and then I can draw another resonant structure where I move the other double bond over and that gets us to this resonant structure H C double bond O we now have a positive charge on that carbon our double bond is moved there and moved there so these resonance structures help stabilize this intermediate but to complete the mechanism we just need to lose this H right in the substitution reaction we've added our group now we need to remove our group so we're just going to take this Cl minus So there's our Cl minus. A lone pair is going to form a new bond from the H to the Cl. These two electrons are going to come back down to reform my double bond. And that gets us to our final product. And that's simply a deprotonation step. So again, to review, the lone pair on the chlorine attacks the aluminum, forms a new bond here. We have a positive charge on our chlorine, negative charge on our aluminum. This carbon-chlorine bond breaks, becomes a lone pair on the chlorine. Here we get our positive charge here, which is resonance stabilized, why we have no rearrangements. We also form AlCl4, which can dissociate to AlCl3 and Cl-. That's part one of the mechanism. Part two is actually doing the EAS reaction. The benzene ring will attack that plus, forming a new bond here. We still have that hydrogen, forming our <clears throat> positive charge here, which is resonance stabilized by these two other structures. And the final step of the mechanism, Cl- can deprotonate, take that H, new bond from chlorine to H, the carbon-hydrogen breaks and becomes my final pi bond over here.